right, I'm Nick out in the garage today. We're gonna to take a few minutes. Told you in one of the last videos, I was gonna show you how you can mount your entire fish finder to the seat of the Hobie Compass. That way you can remove the seat. You're good to go. The only wire you'll have left on the kayak is a transducer wire. Now, some people ask, well, why would you do that? Why is that needed? Now, over the last few years, we've had the ability to talk to people from all over the world. And one of the things you realize is that everybody's application is different. In our experience, a lot of people who have the Hobie Compass, they car top it. Maybe they live in a place where they leave it on their car, they can put it in storage, but they don't want to leave the fish finder on the kayak. It gets in the way for car topping, transporting, whatever reason, okay? They also, they don't want to drill holes in their kayak, which is, as you reach new people in the kayak industry, you realize that not everyone's willing to just take out the drill and start drilling holes in the kayak. Me, personally, I just drill holes everywhere. It's whatever, okay? Uh, but... If you want something that's thrown go, maybe you don't know where you want to put the fish finder, installing the seat or installing the fish finder on the seat is a pretty pretty easy alternative. So I'm going to take the seat off the kayak while putting a little camera around my head, and I will show you guys how we rig it up. In the description, there'll be a link to the accessories you need. They're mostly RAM products, and obviously we use the Nakwa batteries to power the fish finder. They're available on our website. So. Let me get the headset on, we'll get that set up, and then I'll show you guys how we did it. Okay, so here's the seat in the kayak. Okay, nothing to it. You still have your wire that comes out of the bottom of the kayak, your transducers down there if you're not familiar. Now, I do have seat risers on this seat. They're not available yet. We were able to actually use most of the stuff from the Lynx seat risers because this is the same size, but the hardware has to be different because it goes in the brass inserts. Talk about that some other time. Now come around the kayak to this side and you guys can see this is mounted here now i'm going to show you a quick video where it shows me sitting in the seat and then we'll take the seat off of there show you how quick it is go back over there to the table and show you how it's rigged okay so you can see i'm sitting in the hobie compass we still have access to the cup holder we have the fish finder mounted right here it is plugged into the knuckle which is behind the seat it can swivel out of the way, okay? That's really important. This thing flips back and forth. You can adjust this. You can always loosen this so it moves easier. You can use both hands to do that. You still have access to your paddle. That way you can paddle, you know, if you need to launch on the beach or whatever. And then you can just slide this back in place like that and you're good to go you can power the fish finder on if you are launching you can just adjust this down here out of the way and you are good to go then you can just swivel back up tighten it down you can fish do what you got to do drink cold like we talked about you can still land fish without any kind of issues on both sides of the kayak and you're good to go now that you've seen that it's functional let's show you how you take it off to go car top it right so we'll assume you're car topping it and you take the paddle off because your car topping it. Now, this thing, you can just adjust this, move it down. Move it however you want to move it. That's all personal preference. You can legitimately just adjust it however you want it, okay? We know that we need to take the transducer cord out, so we'll just pull that out. I had it ran through there. This is where something like a gear tie would come into play. It would be real, real nice. Then you can just gear tie that back to there. Undo these bungees real quick. Now the seat is pretty much ready to be removed. Only thing to consider is you need to come in here. Undo that guy. We have this cable ran through there so it can't go anywhere. And then you can just click this back on here for storage. That way your seat's not all messed up. Same thing over here. Pop that off of there. Pull that down put it back on there. So now you're good. You just pop the seat out. You got everything you need. It's not in the way. It's easy to toss in the back of your trunk or wherever. Now we'll go back over there and we'll have a look at how it is rigged. It is very simple. We'll start back here in the back with the Nakwa battery pack. And this is old one. This is when Yak Attack partnered with them. Still a Nakwa battery pack. We sell them on the website. They're like blue camo now. This is actually the same setup that I had installed on the Hobie Lynx. I just pulled the power cord off because this is how I keep it on the Hobie Lynx too. This wire goes through the clip, down through here, comes right out through there. So you have everything set up in one place. This just slides back down in there. Anytime you need to charge it, 
you just untwist it, pull it apart, go charge it, and this sits back in there until the next time you're ready to use it. Now, on this side, all we have is a simple ram tough claw. Might not be the proper nomenclature, but I'll put the correct link below. We'll take this piece off. This is a separate RAM product that lets you put your Garmin Striker 4 on there. I'll put a link to this setup as well. Then you just need this piece, nothing to it. Now these are very, very smooth. When you install it right here, and this wire is kind of holding that in the way. If we pop that out of there, you can legitimately take this, toss it in there, and you're good to go. This piece right here just comes around here. And depending on how tall you or short you are, how you fit the seat, you can put it in either of these locations. Just goes in place, clamps down. I was surprised to see that it doesn't hurt that fabric because it doesn't actually tight or it doesn't actually touch and you don't need to go so tight. After that, you're good to go. You can put your cap on there, which I managed to drop on the ground. You put that on there. You could run this wire back in here. And in just a matter of seconds, you can pull it back out, put this however you want to. I just had it sitting through here, right? Put this piece back on here. Plug this back in. And you are back in the game in a matter of seconds. Obviously, you'd put this back in the put this back in there. And when you did put it back in there, you would install that. So we'll just go do it right now. So you guys can see it again. This just goes back here. Line it up. Push it in place. Obviously, you put your bungees on. We don't need to do that right now. This will go here. Undo this clip. We'll get this wire resituated. You don't have to put it through there. That was just more along the lines of me experimenting. You can put it however you want. Make sure the seat is folded up. Clips in place. Same thing on this side. And in a matter of seconds, you are legitimately back in the game. You can run this wire however you want. A few little simple uh, quick ties and you could just move this around and tighten it up make it all fancy and get it down here out of the way you're good to go I wouldn't permanently zip tie get those little twist gear ties I didn't have any laying around I would put them on there to show you you're back in the game you're going fishing all right so you guys just watched us install the seat remove the seat you've seen the rigging the links are below it is a very simple system okay now I know it's not for everybody uh, I don't have to car top my kayaks. Uh, I have places to store them. I don't need to keep them outside. So taking the seat off every single time is not on my to-do list. But if you do fall into that criteria, and we really, we actually received a lot of emails about it. That's why we made this video. That's why we did it was not everybody knows these parts exist or even if it's an option, okay? So I do like the bag on the back of the kayak. It makes, on the back of the seat, it makes storing stuff really nice. I had the battery there for the links for a while now and I love it. It makes my life easy, very easy to reach to recharge. You don't have wires going everywhere. It's all you know, contained on the seat. So not for everybody, but if you do fall into those criteria, it'll work really, really well for you. And if you have any questions, just send me an email at nickatnavarkayakfishing.com or comment below. Thanks for watching.